uh, a good portion of that permanent lung cavity on that lower velocity is just over four inches so overall definitely not a bad performing bullet but they they need some velocity to open up that uh High velocity one, you got that four and three quarter inch at that largest portion of that good permanent wound cavity. Let's go ahead and dig this bullet out of here. And I'm betting its weight retention is not going to be the greatest, even being a bonded bullet because it sure mushroomed. Fairly deceiving. Those other ones do look like decent permanent wound cavity, but as you can see, there's your one directional tear, one directional tear. They look good. Tumbling bullets do do an extensive amount of damage and will drop game. I personally do not like it. I want to know I'm in a velocity range that my bullets are actually going to open up and perform. So again, Really not a terrible performing bullet. It would be a excellent out of something like a 308 for whitetail, antelope, maybe mule deer. I would bump up the grain weight of the bullet for sure or use a different bullet uh, for elk hunting. I killed my first bull elk with 150 grain bullets. They're perfectly adequate if you're using the right bullet and you know you're getting the penetration. Hope you guys enjoy this video.